Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video, uh, may not be too quick, for um, powder coating bullets. What I have here is a 185 grain semi wad cutter out of a Lee mold. And I take my powder coating machine, throw some Harbor Freight yellow powder coat in it, I spray my bullets down and I uh, throw them in my dumpy little toaster oven here cook them for about 20 minutes as per directions on the bottle at uh, 400 degrees and it uh, coats the bullets and the reason behind this is I don't have to uh, Alox lube them, tumble lube them or put a wax lube in the groove and what it does is it actually uh, gives it somewhat of a hard jacket on the bullet and allows you to push it at a higher velocity and it allows you to uh, not use lubricant and what I notice if you do have uh, any type of leading in your barrel when you shoot a regular uh, lead cast bullet with uh, with your normal lube types it, you'll you will get some sort of uh, leading in your barrel it's 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 inevitable and you try and keep it down as much as possible right well what I've noticed if you do have leading in your barrel and you run a couple of these through there it cleans it out and the thing is spick and span when you're done and I've noticed the cleaning of my barrels has uh, almost been uh, eliminated with with using this this powder coat and I wish I had some I could dig some out of the berm when you find them because when you ding these things with a hammer or on impact the powder coat does not chip off I've seen no fouling in my uh, barrels or anything from this powder coat and these this one right here is actually a, a 30 cal I run these through 300 blackout 308 and 76239 uh, SKS and AK 47 gas operated weapons and uh, I'm actually running them supersonic of course this one doesn't have a gas check and I put gas checks on there um, there is uh, no letting or fouling of the gas system that I've seen. I've ran about a thousand rounds of them. With the 45 pistol calibers, I've probably put about 2,000 rounds of them. I get this Harbor Freight powder coat. It's like five bucks. I can do like 3,000 rounds of ammo. It's pretty ridiculous and uh, extremely effective. Um, pretty neat process. All you do is, uh, of course, anybody that casts their own bullets, just uh, cast your own bullets. I water drop them because it keeps them a uh, slightly cleaner environment. I pull them out of the water and put them in, uh, uh, see here I got, uh, got them racked up nice. I just put them in an old uh, ammo box tray and uh, turn them over. Uh, I stick them in the toaster oven for about 5-10 minutes to dry them off and then I bring them over here. This is a uh, non-stick aluminum foil I have. And of course keep the powder coat from sticking to it. And what I've made here, see these little holes, these are actually uh, set for 30 caliber and uh, I that's why the end there is bare because I put the aluminum foil and it fits right in there and they sit up nice and straight and I don't have to worry about them tipping over when I'm baking them or moving them around and then of course the gas check goes over that so then I'm not worried about it but anyway this is the uh, 185 Lee mold semi wad cutter uh, 45 caliber and uh, right now I got my uh, powder coat machine on my air compressor is about 15 psi feet into this uh, powder coat gun and uh, when I depress the pedal, it's going to put a positive charge or negative charge, whatever, on the on the uh, particles coming out of the gun, and and it'll coat them up nice. Uh, what I've got here is a I built myself a downdraft table because this stuff makes a freaking mess, and uh, it's just a box fan under an 18 by 18 um, air filter for like a house air filter, but no problem there. And then when you do depress on the pedal, you can see it uh, power. Uh, but anyway, let's apply some air pressure here to this gun. Just hear it hiss a little bit. And uh, let's see, let's apply power and coat. And sometimes this thing, this Harbor Freight gun, costs about, oh, I think it was seventy dollars, and uh, it does pretty well. Uh, I mean, it's no professional, professional thing going on here, but uh, it does really well for this actually. 
it's really intermittent sometimes with powder. The powder gets pretty cheap. Um, I guess it just depends on the person what type of powder you want to use. I see a lot of guys not wanting to use certain types of powder. Give that a break real quick. Give that a little bit of downdraft. Uh, if you do have a downdraft, the airflow bringing the uh, air down around the uh, tray here helps tremendously with the cover. And I use a solid tray because it doesn't really matter if I'm covering the bottom of my bullet. Um, of course, if it's subsonic ammunition, really not too worried about uh, letting too much um, with the back. Uh, if you're talking a, a, a rifle bullet, and you're going to have bad problems if you don't gas check or coat the bottom. And I do, I do recommend gas checking the round to prevent any type of extreme letting you got going. And turn off my air here. And those are completely coated. Completely coated. And uh, what I do here, I just take the uh, little electrode off, open up my toaster door, up nice and careful. Don't ruin your oven at the house because this stuff gets everywhere and it will bake on everything and good luck getting it off. So now that they're in there, turn it to 400 degrees and crank that sucker all the way over and uh, there you have it. And then uh, what we have is finished product here. These have been coated. Of course I haven't picked them off yet so usually they just, they just pluck right off. Well, that didn't work. That one didn't pop right off. A little too much there. Now what I do is I take these and I run them through a size die, a 451 caliber size die, and this has been run through the size die already, and it measures out at .451. And right now I believe it measures more at uh, if when it hasn't been run through the size die, it measures out at about .456, .457. So it does work, and then when you run it through, you can see there's no chipping of the uh, powder coat coming off of there or anything like that. I mean, you can beat this thing, like literally beat it with a hammer, and it won't chip, which is awesome. It just kind of flexes with the uh, lead smashing. And then they load up, and they shoot just like that. It's pretty brilliant. I'm going to have another video of uh, doing my 30 cal bullets and uh, gas checking process and sizing process of them. Pretty neat. Let me know if you've got any questions. There they go. Have a good one. Be safe.